Just say today we have some um something I don't really usually do, but I really like doing. This is my top five game collection, so let's get started. So coming in five on my list, I'd have to put LA Noir for PS3. Now this may surprise a lot of you games, but I just loved it. It's by Rockstar, obviously. Uh, with the open world, you can, obviously you can open world it, and it's really awesome. You can interrogate people, you can get all sorts of guns, you can get awesome characters, awesome storyline, awesome open world, awesome cars. I really liked it, and there's not much else to say, but I think it should include in multiplayer. So coming in at number 4 on my list, I'd have to put Hitman Absolution. Now, I'm a massive fan of the Hitman series. Um, brilliant, brilliant freaking game it was just so awesome how you can go through so many strategies how you can actually explore the map not my the world but you could explore the map you could go through all sorts of ways you could go through the ending of the ways you could like oh, i don't know it was so fun you could go through it as a, a silent assassin or you could go through with a big old terminator style put some guns and shoot everyone and it was so awesome and i really enjoyed it that's why i'm putting it on my number four list I know guys this was a tricky one so I just decided to do both. Today we have Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2. I couldn't think of either one to put on my list. So I thought I'd just do both. Um they both have awesome qualities. Borderlands 1 was freaking awesome. I loved it. Couldn't stop playing it. I played it for I remember two days straight just on the game. It was so awesome. Oh man, I can't explain how much good this game. So many guns, so many open world, so many characters, brilliant storyline. Oh, just a great game. Number two, however, kicked it up a big notch, like a bigger um campaign. There were better characters. There were. Oh, I don't know. It was other than that, it was the same. But I really liked that. And they were both by Two K. Not this gearbox. Well, that. Price tags in the way. So coming in at number three on my list, we're going to have to put Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition. Now this was a brilliant freaking game as well. That's why I put it on number three. I thought it was just up. I thought it just upscaled all these games. Um, I just loved it. It was so. It was basically um, pointing the wrong game there. I thought basically it was Grand Theft Auto Wild West. You had awesome guns, awesome cheats, awesome open world, awesome horses, awesome animals. Awesome skinny ability, so like you can go hunting, awesome storyline, awesome graphics for the year. And it came with a Zombies DLC mode. I got the game in the year edition, so it came with multiplayer free, uh, the campaign, and Zombies. It's also, in case you haven't noticed, by Rockstar, so that's an awesome game designer. So coming in last, the best and thing I thought my, my personal favourite game was now, guys, I'm going to admit, I didn't, this is only on the number one spot because, I don't really know, if guys, I, I really enjoyed this game a lot, awesome combat, awesome storyline, awesome tactics, awesome character, awesome voice acting, awesome sounds, awesome music, awesome map. I don't know, that's that's how good it is, it's just brilliant. Now, if I had to upscale it, it probably would have been Just Cause 2, or Assassin's Creed 3, or last and finally, Prototype 1 and Prototype 2. So hopefully, guys, that is it for today, and I will see you guys in my next video. So yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. I'm Theo Daniels, and I'll be back in my next video.